How much more interest would a fixed deposit of $10,000 earn in 2008 than in 2009? All right, so let me discuss this question a little bit. So you read a question like this, or let us say for some reason you encounter this in a paper two. That would be a paper two number one, right? The first thing that would jump out at you would be the word interest, and then your mind might run to simple interest, right? But this is not a case of simple interest. In this question, you just have a fixed deposit, fixed deposit, and you have an interest rate. So in other words, the interest would simply be the rate multiplied by the fixed deposit, right? So as in this case, the interest for 2008 would be 7.8 percent multiplied by to, by 10,000. In the case of nine, 2009, the interest would be 7.5 percent multiplied by the same 10,000. All right. So what we're gonna do? Let us find the interest in 2008. So that will be 7.8%, 7.8 over 100, multiplied by 10,000, right, over one, all right? Now I put 7.8% as 7.8 over 100, which is fine. You could do that in your regular working as fine, so that even though you have a decimal over the fraction, we could do this if we're dealing with percentages and we could just work it out. So 100, cancel out into 100 here. You get 7.8 multiplied by 100, which you know, you just move the point two places to the right, what will give you $780. And then you do the same thing for the 2009. So to, for 2009, you have 7.5 over 100, multiplied by 10,000 over one. Bim, bam, bam, bim. 7.5 by 100 will give you 750. So, so that the difference between these two will just be 780 minus 750, which would be $30, which would be answer C for this particular question.